then wrapping them around a pin. If you forget, yes. if you forget yeah. what you're doing and you accidentally knit, then it creates an elongated stitch, which is what you see on the bottom here. Uh -huh is when I first started, because of the way I had all my needles coming mm -hmm. out, it was knitting, so now it's like an elongated stitch. Mm -hmm. So that's when you see the final swatch, you'll see that swatch. But that was a user error. <laughs> because I pulled all the needles yeah. up, and when you pull it up, they all start knitting, so yes. that kind of okay. messed up everything. Zero. Yeah, all the time. I, you can change it to um, make the pile longer, but then it, it's just, um, it gets a little tangly, so you mm -hmm. kind of have to mess with mm -hmm. it a little bit. Uh, you might have to mess with, with the levers down here. You might want to mess with how long you want it. <coughs> um, so yeah, that's what I, I do. It probably needs more weight in the middle. <coughs> so then once again, across, back, release. And then so when you say release, what's it really releasing? Okay, I'll show So that loop. Did it go back on to that the loop, other that loop? Oh, I did? Yeah, I did. Okay, so what happens is, you know, those it's loops. like knitting without yarn. And there you go. All the so then yeah, all, the, all these the loops, they get knocked off. So I release, oh, okay. I release the loops okay. from it. Okay. And then I have to run it along so that it doesn't start catching on everything. Okay. Oh, I forgot the end stitches again. It worked. So what's the question now? I think it'll be better because on my swatch sample, I had done the stitches on the, the side. I'll see what happened. It dropped off. It dropped off because I didn't run them earlier. Yeah, so then if you don't want to, you don't want to touch mm -hmm. uh, tuck on the end stitch, but then what happens is um, if you have too wide of a edge, like what I had, they start curling because there's too many yeah. rows compared to what you're doing in the middle, you're tucking. Mm -hmm. So, works. You could do like a heart. Yeah, so when you do patterns, you have to manually manipulate it on the brother. So when you do it on the singer, you switch it around, and you're knitting on the river, and then you're patterning up here. Mm -hmm. And the reason why it doesn't work on a brother the way it works on the singer is when you use patterning on the brother, it pre-selects the needles. Yes. Oh. So then you can't drop the pile stitches because oh. it's pre-selecting oh. needles. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's the problem. So let's and then, when I did the every other needle, because I, that's what I did on the pink sweater I was wearing last time. Oh, and this didn't release, so I'll have to, there we go. Um, this is what I did. So in stitches come out. And then I would manually select the needles. So this is going to be a problem. I just hide it. Okay, so then you have to remember what you're choosing. So now I'm choosing odd numbers. Let's do this. Oh my God, this brain is weird. If you do every other needle. <laughs> you have to think while you're doing this. Yeah, if you do every other needle, <laughs> this is why it's worse, because you actually have to take these out of work so that they don't tuck. And then I, yeah, so then. So if I do every other needle, so you see how they the, the pile will only be on every other needle. And then just hold this down. Then again, I release. Okay. <coughs> and then so that was odd, so now I'll do even. Just do this. And stitches. Oh, and I was supposed to knit. Oh well, it's okay. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Let's yeah. fix it. Okay. Sorry. Every time I do every other needle, I have to do every other needle on both beds. 
makes my head hurt. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. So that's why the every other needle one, not as fun. <laughs> okay. Just setting it up. Is How would it look if you, instead of 